morning keys. This is Keys Talk 96.9. It is 8 o'clock. Good morning, Keys. I'm Mike Stapleford. Monday, following the start of Fantasy Fest, it was a busy week. And in uh, Key West, had the uh, grand coronation as well for the uh, king and queen of Fantasy Fest. Certainly, congratulations go out to Carlos Holm and uh, Fran Decker for uh, achieving those uh, pinnacles. Also, we've got a lot of other issues and a lot of other uh, events to get to, but uh, just after the powerboat race, actually make that just after Fantasy Fest will be the powerboat races, National World Offshore, that's coming up in November. We have a lot to talk about with that. Uh, And one of the primary uh, events going to be happening for the powerboat races is the Boats and Boots uh, concert. That happens November 12th, and it will benefit those uh, victims of Hurricane Ian, those people who were displaced, and many people were displaced in Key West and the Lower Keys by Hurricane Ian. But one gentleman has come to the forefront of helping those people. His name is Rick Lindsay, and we say, hey, Rick. Good morning. How are you doing? I am doing well, thank you, and thanks for getting up so early. I know you're in uh, Utah, but you're heading back to Key West here in just a little while, and you have a home in Key West. You've spent considerable time in Key West, and you are serving as the CEO of X Insurance and Prime Insurance as well. And uh, you took it uh, upon yourself to help some of the uh, victims of Hurricane Ian. And one of those ways you're going to be doing that is the Boats and Boots concert. It's my understanding that the profits of that concert happening November 12th will go directly to benefit Hurricane Ian victims, right? That's correct. We're happy to do our part. Well, very good. So, Rick, you have a long history in the uh, insurance business. You've been in the business over 40 years, uh, moved your way up the ladder and found that there was a distinct need to uh, for insurance uh, in a number of areas that were not covered by conventional insurance and also high-risk individuals. So am I correct in that that is what X Insurance typically does is fulfilling that need? Yeah, um, I mean, insurance is kind of a stupid business, <laughs> Everybody in Florida yeah. kind of currently sees uh, down there. It's like the perfect experiment how not to provide insurance. Every 10 years, the companies down there go broke. So mm-hmm. the reason I'm the CEO is because I own the company. I'm, I'm not uh, somebody that could get a job in the insurance business <laughs> because of my pedigree and background. But I've been doing it for 40 years my entire adult life. And I do it right or I don't do it. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the homeowners scene down there is is ridiculous. Um, it's sad. The lawyers are growing. Everybody down there thinks, you know, it's you got to change the law. As an insurance professional, I'm promoting the fact that, you know, we need to do our job. If I take your money, I need to give you the coverage you need, including wind and flood. I have to underwrite your property. I have to do it right. And then when shit hits the fan, uh, I need to run to the fan and uh, fix your house. Mm -hmm. What happens now is insurance companies take your money and they exclude flood or wind or they give you a big deductible. And within a couple of years, the lawyers do everybody and they make a lot of money. So I believe the power's in our hands. We just have to do our part. Insurers have to pay more money. Mm-hmm. The premiums in Florida are half of what they are in Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, any other coastal state that only has one coast. Mm-hmm. Florida has three coasts, more storms, more property. So, you know, we all got to do our part. And uh, so that's what I've been doing for 40 years. Well, and you actually came and toured a number of homes that were affected by Hurricane Ian personally as well, right? Yeah, I cut my teeth in Katrina. Mm-hmm. Um, that was my first big event as a younger insurance man. And one of the things you got to do is show up. You know, yeah. all these other insurance companies outsource and hire contractors to go take pictures and then send them pictures or send them a report. Just go look at it. Go see it meet their insureds and get the process started because even
Even if you have good insurance, it's a painful process to go through a hurricane or any unplanned event. But when what could happen does happen, we shouldn't be surprised. That's just what is so frustrating to me. It's like, you know, nobody expects this stuff to happen. It's been happening since the beginning of time. So Mm -hmm. being prepared is the key. Obviously, Floridians know how to prepare for storms and they do their best. But once it is leaving, you know, that's when you need a good partner. You don't need a crappy insurance company. You need a good partner that's going to step up do the right thing, and then keep insuring you. Mm -hmm. Not go broke or run away and not do it anymore. Why did they ever write hurricane insurance if they didn't want to deal with the claims? Yeah. So I guess they were hoping that hurricanes wouldn't happen anymore and they'd just collect free money. Right. We're speaking with Rick Lindsay. He's CEO of X Insurance on Keys Talk 96.9-1025, the talk of the keys. So X Insurance has uh, over 90,000 uh, policies issued, uh, 70,000 plus claims have been managed. And so you said uh, earlier that an insurance company needs to certainly pay up when uh, there is a claim, and it looks certainly like X Insurance has stood by that as well. And uh, over 700 classes of insurance that you're providing solutions for. So it looks like X Insurance certainly has filled a void that was in the insurance industry not previously served. Yeah, well, we, I've been doing it since 1979. Back then, there was trouble in insurance um, and storms and, you know, all this stuff. But I started doing, you know, recreational activities, kids' school trips in the swamps where I remember the mosquitoes, you know, were a problem back then in Florida. And they closed the schools and kept the kids indoors. And so nobody we would, would insure the outdoor program. We started doing that with common sense and worked with the school districts. And you know, risk is relative because you, um, you know, go to boat races doesn't mean you're high risk. You can increase your risks by being an idiot in anything. So, again, it, you know, people talk about what classes of business do you insure. I do 700 classes, everything from daycares to automobile to whatever, but. Um, I insure classes of people. Mm-hmm. Good people are much easier and better to insure because they, they understand common sense and that a partnership requires both partners to do their part. Mm-hmm. You know, high risk comes with people who don't expect to do their part and are unreasonable going into the partnership. Mm. So, you know, it's pretty common sense that, uh, again, buyers should stop focusing on the cheapest and find the best partner that they can trust to stick with them for the thick and thin. Yeah, well, there's a lot of cases where people are underinsured because they can't get that additional coverage, and certainly X Insurance is covering those uh, underinsured and those high-risk categories as well. And Florida now looks like they're going to have a special session of the legislature after Thanksgiving to try to address the insurance uh, crisis, as they say. And, you know, Sir Hurricane Ian has... Lots and lots and billions and billions of, uh, well, uh, claims. But unfortunately, there's not enough money to cover all that. And now citizens insurance is also in trouble. So, again, there certainly is a need for uh, companies like X Insurance to step in and fill those gaps, of which there are many. So you mentioned, Rick, uh, high-risk categories. And uh, certainly there is a high-risk but high-thrill category coming to town here in Key West with the World Race Offshore Power Boats. And you personally have gotten involved in the world race offshore as of late uh you've got two boats in the races one with the x insurance boat and then you're a sponsor for the good boy vodka boat as well but you were very involved as a sponsor and a participant last year in uh, the helicopter that you personally fly and uh, you contribute greatly to uh the offshore races so uh talk about your involvement there how did you get uh involved and what what prompted this well i started right a big insurance company decided they didn't want to do certain boats anymore so we started doing that and then I you know running a national insurance company I travel a lot I do a lot of things with customers and insurance professionals trying to get them to see the light and do it the right way and so we try and do stuff Um, you know have events build partnerships and 
camaraderie during, you know, stuff you enjoy doing. And so the same old boring stuff, you know, you can only golf so much, you can only, you know, go camping so much. And, and the boat races is, is small enough that you can have a really unique event. And I would say that has some of the best people um, involved in it. You know, they're not doing it for money. They don't get mm-hmm. big prizes. They don't win, you know, well, they win a, a trophy. But, you know, in, in other um, big sports or, or fun activities that I think match up to this, it's a lot bigger. It's a lot harder to get involved. It's a lot more difficult to create a special, unique environment where you can bond with clients and, and people you do business with. So mm-hmm. last year was my first year at the boat races. I was actually down there fishing with people uh, in the boat, but I started taking down there to take people out deep sea fishing, and um, mm-hmm. the boat races looked like a good time. Last year, we were just there to kind of get a lay of the land and figure it out. We did a couple of boats last and we do actually have a second boat in the super stock race mm-hmm. that's showing up. We sponsored him last year too, but yeah, you know, they're just good people that we like to do fun stuff with. And Key West is really a fun place and a unique place where we can take people uh, and show them a good time, a different time. You know, anybody can take you golfing to some fancy golf course. But, uh, you know, it's surprising to me that a lot of people haven't been down there uh, in Key West and experienced it. So it's it's a great opportunity for us to get to know people and entertain our clients. Yeah, very well. We're speaking with Rick Lindsay. He is CEO of X Insurance on Keys Talk 96.91025, the talk of the Keys. So this is the 41st year of Race World Offshore in Key West. It was made popular in 1903, established by the American Power Boats Association that same year. And X Insurance is a platinum sponsor this year with a number of boats uh, being sponsored in the race. And also you'll be in the helicopter once again uh, helping with uh, divers should they uh, need to uh, spring into action for uh, rescue, etc. So very involved. But also you have stepped up even further because we talked a little bit about you being involved with uh, Hurricane Ian and Hurricane Ian Relief, and even you personally going door-to-door to check on those who were affected by the storm. But now it is the Boats and Boots uh, concert, which is November 12th, 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. It features Brian Kelly, John Daly, of course, from LPGA, and uh, well, from the PGA, make that. Eddie Montgomery from uh, uh, Montgomery Gentry, and it's all presented by X Insurance and Good Boy Vodka. It's going to be a huge concert, and the profits of that concert do directly benefit Hurricane Ian victims. So uh, we're certainly looking forward to that. Um, how did this idea come about, and uh, what can you tell us further about the concert's uh, formation? Well, we get down there um, during the event. We saw what went on, and we had ideas about you know, how we could enhance it and make it better for everybody and ourselves um, and our clients. And so the concert venue was something we negotiated. I believe we have it for the, the next five years. And then we ran around like novices trying to find artists that, you know, people would be interested in, in seeing. And uh, mm-hmm. obviously we got some numbers from artists that we could fathom um, spending that kind of money to have you know somebody there but we did find these great artists mm-hmm. and we convinced John Daly to come down and kind of give us um, a show of his talents he, he loves music and country singing so we're really excited about it and mm-hmm. with the storm we just decided that um, if you know there was a way we could get the benefit out of it and help the local community. We would donate the, the profits to to the Hurricane Club. So yeah. uh, we're hoping it's going to be great. Again, it's our first year doing the concert, um, and we're going to learn, and we're hoping to come back in future years and make it a better and better event every year. Well, people in Key West and those who are coming to uh, Race World Offshore are going to be enjoying some great live music again. It will feature uh, Brian Kelly, John Daly, Eddie Montgomery, Eddie Montgomery of uh, Montgomery Gentry, 
Uh, John Daly, of course, the five-time PGA crossover country artist, and Brian Kelly, a.k.a. the Beach Cowboy, former member of Florida Georgia Line. So you certainly have put together a star-studded uh, lineup there. It's going to happen at the Amphitheater, and tickets on sale now, fastboatsandboots.com. And again, pro- the profits are benefiting Hurricane Ian victims in the Florida Keys. So X Insurance and Rick, you yourself have certainly given back to the Keys over the years and you have really stepped up big here. Also, uh, you're the official Race World Offshore uh, event sponsor, Loggerheads X Insurance RW Offshore Party happens Tuesday the 8th. Rick's Good Boy Vodka Party after the concert, November 12th. That's at Rick's and Dirty Harry's Entertainment Complex. So a lot going on and you, uh, you all and your company are going to be everywhere in the keys here come uh, early November, so we certainly look forward to that. Well, so do we, and uh, hopefully we can make it a great event mm-hmm. and meet a lot of people. And uh, if there's anything anybody thinks we can do better, just let us know. Absolutely. Well, uh, X Insurance is online, also xinsurance.com. Certainly, more about. Uh, Rick's company is online there. You can uh, find out about the background of the company and the 700-plus classes of insurance that they offer that are very hard to find coverage for anywhere else. So certainly uh, you don't have to remain underinsured as a company or as an individual. Uh, If you go to X Insurance, you'll find out more about that. So, uh, Mr. Rick Lindsay, CEO of X Insurance, is there anything else you'd like to touch on? We will talk to you again before you get down here for the uh, offshore races, but uh, we appreciate your time today here. Yeah, no, we we love the Keys and appreciate all the good people down there, and we'll look forward to seeing you soon and talking to you again. Very well. Well, we'll be with you on site with Party 105.7 and Mermaid Christiane. She'll be with you throughout the the week of uh, the offshore races, but also uh, we appreciate you getting the word out here on Keys Talk from uh, Keys and Key West all the way up to South Miami-Dade. And we will continue to introduce you further to the Keys as we get closer to the uh, powerboat races. So, Rick, thank you for being here. No, appreciate it. Have a great day. Indeed. Thank you very much. It's Rick Lindsay. He is CEO of X Insurance and the parent company Prime Insurance on Keys Talk 96.9.1025, the talk of the Keys. It is uh, 74 degrees. We're on our way to 83. Going to be a beautiful day here in the Keys. No traffic tie-ups to speak of on US-1 currently. It's 817 and we'll be back.